Okay, so uh, welcome to this video. It's going to be about manipulating formulae, which is just a fancy word for the plural of formulas. I'm sure it's the correct way, but just formulas is fine. Uh, so again, this is just a good solid base skill to have. You need to have this for the rest of the course, basically. So I'm just going to doodle here so it doesn't seem like nothing is happening. Um, yeah, it's just a good solid base skill to have for the rest of the course. You'll practice it as you go along, but it's good just to, to know the basics now so you can practice it as you go, because without it, you'd basically be lost in the rest of the course. Um, yeah, and so the main rule is, so I'm just going to make a star here. I'm done doodling. I should get rid of that doodle first. So the main rule is you can do anything if, uh, I'm not sure why that equals is there, if you, okay, I'm going to say if you do it on both sides, of the equation. So you can do anything as long as you do it on both sides of the equation. So this is gonna, this rule is going to be king basically for the these next two videos. It's just as long as you do it on both sides, it's absolutely fine. You can do it, okay? So see what I mean now. We'll start with an example. Um, we're going to do this example here, okay? So it's going to be 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. So we want to find x is equal to what? So we're not looking for an answer for x because since there are two unknowns, x and y won't be able to find like x is equal to 3 or a number. We just want to find x in terms of the other um, terms, basically, in terms of the other variables, you might say. So that, that's what it'll say in the exam. It'll say find x in terms of the other terms of the other variables. So you just want to find x is equal to, and on this side you're going to have y plus 4 divided by 10 or something. It's, it's, that's not the answer for this question here, but that's your idea, okay? So let's get rid of that. Um, okay, so we'll just go ahead. So the idea, like I said, you can do anything as long as you do it on both sides of the equation. So we'll start off, we want, we want to find x always on its own on the left side and everything else on the right side, ideally, okay? So it's just easier if you read it from left to right. If x is over here and the rest of them are all over here and it's just easier to isolate x on the right side, then go ahead and do isolate x on the right side, but it's just easier if you isolate it on the left side, just it's easier to read, okay? So we're gonna start by adding 2y to both sides, okay? So 3x minus 2y plus 2y is equal to 4 plus 2y. And this is what I mean about you can do anything as long as you do it on both sides, okay? So we have plus 2y on both sides. This handily, so obviously we didn't do this for no reason, we did this because it cancels out with the minus 2y here. So then, handily enough, we can carry on now. We're going to have 3x is equal to 4 plus 2y. Okay, so now the, the x is almost isolated. It's almost on its own. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 3. Okay, divide by 3, divide by 3. And I'll just drop a little bit here. Oh, no, I didn't need to do that. There you go. Uh, okay, and so again, use purple to cancel. This three here, it's going to cancel with this three here. So nothing cancels on this side, but it doesn't matter because we're now just left with x is equal to 4 plus 2y divided by 3, which is exactly what we were looking for. We're looking for x in terms of the other variables, okay? So obviously, this one here, we took our time with it. We did it step by step. So I just wanted to show you the exact method of any, any way, whenever you're solving an equation like this, that's the way you're supposed to do it technically, if you get I me. Mean. But obviously, you don't have time to, or space to write all of this for every single question you do. So, say I'm going to draw a line down here and we'll do it in yellow. If we were to do the same in an exam and you're well practiced in it at the end of sixth year, hopefully, you're well practiced doing things like this, and you don't have time, you don't have space, you have to just bang it out. You can go straight. You can just know that when you add 2i to both sides, it's basically just moving the 2i over here. So, you know you're going to end up from 3x minus 2i equal to 4. Then the next line is going to be so actually let's just write out the whole thing first it's equal to 4 you know the next line is going to be 3x is equal to 4 plus 2y and then you know the next line after that is going to be x is equal to 4 plus 2y over 3 okay so this is just once you get uh, good at doing these once you practice a lot of them you should hopefully be able to skip from line to line like that instead of writing each line out it'll just save you a lot of time and space and yeah, it's just good etiquette to do. So the faster you do it, it's obviously the better. Uh, this is ideally what we're hoping for at the end of 
uh, once you've done the exam, you should be able to do it like this. Okay, we'll do one more example. Uh, I'm actually going to erase some of this here first because there probably won't be enough space down there. So, so again, sorry, if you missed some of that, you can just pause it and rewind. Have another look. Hopefully, I didn't erase just the question as you were taking it down, or if you are taking it down, you don't need to take it down. It's all up in the video anyway, you can just watch it again. Okay, uh, draw a line, and we'll start with green. So this next question here is going to be a little bit more difficult. We're going to start, so it's going to be F dash is equal to FC divided by C minus U, okay? So these variables, they don't mean anything, they're just letters. So well, actually, anyone who does the physics for the Leibniz you'll know this is the Doppler effect formula. So you might recognize it, but it doesn't really matter for what our purpose now. We're just trying to do the maths of it, so do the algebra. So the question is, we want to find C is equal to what? So C in terms of the other variables, okay? So the first thing you're generally going to want to do, so like ideally at the end, we want C isolated on the left on its own and everything else on the right. So the first thing, since there's a C on the bottom here, so on the bottom of a fraction, we want to get rid of all the fractions and get all the C's up on the top because it's difficult to deal with them when they're down at the bottom, okay? So to do this, we're going to multiply both sides by C minus U, okay? So which I'm going to put in brackets. So these, this is going to stick together because it's in a bracket, okay? Um, we're going to have F dash multiplied by C minus U is equal to FC by C minus U over C minus U. Okay, and because it's on top and on the bottom, it'll just cancel. And you'll get to see that if you take something away from the bottom and you multiply it by both sides, you'll end up with it just on one side and not on the other sides at all. Okay, so I'm just going to erase these C minus U so they don't get in the way and so I can save space. Uh, okay, it's not erasing, just give me one second and I'll erase it a different way. That's better. Okay, yeah. So back to where we were. So we started off with F dash. And don't be confused about F dash. Sorry, it's just basically like a different letter. Imagine it's a totally different letter than F. Okay, there's no similarities at all. Um, yeah, so F, F dash multiplied by C minus U is equal to FC. So now we have a C inside the bracket here. We're going to want to get that out of the bracket because we want to get all the C's together on one side. So we're going to have to get it out of the bracket. So we're going to go F dash C minus F dash U is equal to FC, okay? And now I'm going to take this FC over to this side and the, move the FU over. So we want to get all the C's on this side and everything else over on this side. So it's going to be F dash C minus FC because we're after moving this over here. So it'll be minus and then moving this one over here. So if you want, you can go through it step by step and add uh, minus, or you can take FC away from each side and then add F dash U to each side. I'm just going to skip through that step and squeeze ahead here. You know, loads and loads of time. I don't want the video to take all day. Um, yeah, okay, so this next step, we have all the C's on the left side and most things on the other side. So now I'm going to factorize this. So I'm going to get C, take it out of the bracket, and it's going to be F dash minus F, okay? Because C goes into both these terms here, you can take C out, you can factorize it, like we just did here, F dash U. And now I'm just going to draw down the side here. We're going to start up here. Uh, I'm going to divide both sides by F dash minus F. So, like this here. So they're just sorry, that equals sign should be bigger. So they're two different on two different sides of the equation. So everything we've done so far, we've done on both sides of the equation. So we're not breaking any rules. Cancel those two here, and we're left with our final answer is C is equal to F dash U over F dash minus F. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. The idea just being that if you do it, anything you do, as long as you do it on both sides, uh, it's totally okay. Okay, thanks for watching.